Yeah. Bro code, bro code. Bro code, bro code. We in new modes. And we do it better sticking together. Won't bend, won't fold. No, I got your back to whatever weather. Rain, sleep, or snow. Make it profit while we get to the cheddar. We in that mode, you know if we got a problem, we pull up in that jail Fit for all of my bros, collective like the colors in the rainbow All of that talking you did on the net, we know that you only did it for a post If I pull up, then I get in the tank, I need me like 500k for a soul Or maybe more, and I got all of the stars in the ceiling cause we in the road Yeah, just for the bros, brothers forever, so you know we got each other back We aiming for gold, sticking together, tell us about the weather, we never slack Gotta stick to the code, bro code, bro code, we in new modes And we do it better, sticking together, won't bend, won't fold No, I got your back to whatever Weather, rain, sleep, or snow. Making profit while we get to the cheddar. They know we own. Take off, we go. What up, what up, what up, what up? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. What up, everybody? What up, fellas? What's up, what's up, bro? You doing all right? Hello, bro. You're family. What's up? My bad. Bro, cold family, all our supporters. We appreciate y'all. What's up, fella? What's up? What up? What up, man? What up? 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 This is not a juicy one like I usually pick. Not a juicy one. Not, not a juice. Not, not the not the sauce on. Not one. No salt. No, no, no sauce. Come on. Man. It's, okay. it's seasoned. It's seasoned. It's seasoned. Okay. But, it, it, but, but no, no salt. salt. But, so okay, it's okay. savory. Okay. You got a but, savory. But, but it's, 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 okay. it's good. What I'm saying. Okay. But you know, you know how we do it when we first get in, boy. Welcome to another episode of Bro. 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 Appreciate you, Chaser. Now to my right, we have. Two beautiful ladies in here that are going to join us on this topic. Yes. We appreciate it. So we're going to go to my right and introduce yourself to our audience. I'm Nueva. Okay. I'm Dave, y'all. Okay. All right. Welcome, ladies, to Bro Code. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on. Since an accent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Jamaica. That, 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 oh, okay. You from Jamaica? Where you from? Uh, America. America. <laughs> hey, that's, 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 I'm Haitian, but I'm from America. Okay, well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hey. He's on yay. I know, I know, I know you went from the, the back of the Alabama. I know that. So I'm just saying. But, but fellas, so look here. We got, a, we got a very interesting topic today, man. What's the topic today, man? What, and man? this, I feel like this is a topic that people really overlook and don't put enough emphasis in. Okay. So, you, so you're helping people. So I'm about to help y'all right. okay. on help, this. Help, help. So the topic is the help. importance of zodiac compatibility, the five love languages, and, and I didn't know this, this is a new one, the five apology languages in relationships. Okay. So it's five right. apology languages. Five apology, apology languages. You do know how to know how to apologize. You okay. really do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning already. Yeah, yeah. I didn't no, there, know there that different either. levels of apologies. So yeah, that's gonna be right. interesting. I learned. I learned that I was like, oh, I'm guilty of all this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. So let's let's start out with. There are twelve zodiac signs. Mm. Okay. So First I'm, and I'm, the best. We're gonna go on to see. You so the, the best to me, the best sign. We're already in season. I'm gonna go ahead and cut you off. We're no. already in season, baby. This no. is season. Listen, Come listen. on, man. The best sign <laughs> is Aquarius, baby. We, we, we already know that. That's the best sign it is. Aquarius, baby. I mean, I mean Aries but, stored the list, so okay, I mean, so I mean, so we're gonna go by the list. You got Aries, but it's only Gemini. one king of the jungle. Okay, the king, which is Leo. I'm just gonna say okay. this. You keep going. Libra. First shall be last. Last shall be first. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put it out there like that. Sagittarius. Oh, like I said, Aquarius. You got Taurus. You got Cancer, Virgo. You got Scorpio, Capricorn, and Pisces. Okay? Okay. So, based on all of those 12 signs, it's, mis it's mis mismatches as far as which sign are compatible with the other ones. Okay? okay. So, based on, on you know... On my research, it said each zodiac sign has the distinct characteristics that can affect relationships. Aries and Leo make an ideal couple with Taurus and Cancers. You know, have a strong bond. Gemini and Aquarius, well, I don't agree with that, but Gemini and Aquarius match well. Cancer compatibility with Scorpio. Virgo and Scorpio have fun together. Then you have Libra and Sagittarius. They left you out, bro. They left you out. They left you out. So, basically, my first question, you know, would be how do the two signs, how do you know your sign is compatible with somebody else? Okay. So basically it states, you know, some of the best sign compatibility matches are fire signs, 
you have water signs, mm -hmm. you have earth signs, and you have, I think it's um, missed one, air signs. So those, those areas, so basically depending on what your sign is, also depends on what you match with. So you done lost me already. Oh, that's, so, that's like this, oh, that's like so this right here for me. Y'all remember, uh, remember the old group Earth, Wind, and Fire? Yeah. Uh -huh. Was it was it was it related to the Zodiac sign? It could be. Man, it could have been. Something. I just it heard could've been. So I got to research. So that, that makes sense be. though. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire could be. I don't know. So, so research. <laughs> on this show, we have a Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, and Aries. So you two. Or what they call the fire signs. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And basically, y'all element is like, you know, y'all like, it's like ruling. Like y'all like to ruin stuff, basically. I, I def, that's definitely you. Yeah. And, you know, okay, yeah, she, she, she said control. control. <laughs> but, you know, Leo's controlling? Leo's wow. Like, wow. Like wow. Like yeah. So the water signs... It's Cancer, Scorpio, and you, AC, Pisces. Right, before what, you go there, what, what I, 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 I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. What's the question? So you, you talked about them, right? Their sign. Right. Aries and... Both Aries. No. no Aries and Leo. Aries, 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 right. Are they compatible? We'll get to that. And it depends on if it's a man or a woman. Right. Does it, does, right. And that's that, my next question. That, 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 that depends on if it's a man or a woman. Okay. Well, I mean, we're in Atlanta, so I'm, I'm just saying, like, it don't necessarily have to be a man or a woman. <laughs> I, I'm just keeping I, I, it real. So I, that was about to be my question. Does, <laughs> it, does it change if it's like man, man, it, woman, it, it woman? Don't. It, it don't. It don't. Uh, it, that's what I'm saying. Right. It don't, but we, we'll get to that. No, I got me. So, that's a legitimate question, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just thought about it. So the thing about it is with the water signs, you got cancer. Which is you? Yeah, I'm a you got answer. Scorpio and Pisces. Okay. Which is you? Okay, and y'all tend to be emotional. I'm very emotional. Exactly. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm a very emotional so, person. So then you see some truth to yeah. it. Is that is yeah. that you as well? Oh God, yes. <laughs> see, exactly. Right? So so like, that's why you see that I'm not lying. Yeah. Okay. Then we had the air sign, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Those are the thinkers, and you know the creators, communicators. That's us. You know, yeah. we're very smart I people. I wouldn't say okay. communicator. Then you run it off with the earth signs, Aries which are your Taurus, Virgo, mm -hmm. and Capricorn. <laughs> and they tend to be stable, grounded, very practical. I heard that most Virgos uh, and, you know, Taurus, basically they have, they, they can be mean, but they're very grounded. So they make them part of their best friends, basically. Is that why y'all sitting next to each other? No. 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 They're not. And I'm like, what? I'm, like, I'm like on the borderline of Virgo, so right. okay. I, mean, I so, don't act like a Virgo. Right. But, you know, yeah. So let's <laughs> let's break it down as far as you know what signs who you think that, that you are compatible with. So we're gonna start with Coop, cause Coop is an Aries. So we're gonna start with Coop. Yup. So doing the research, Coop is compatible with Sagittarius. He compatible with Virgos. He compatible with Gemini's. Some Libras, Leos. And Pisces. That's about so everybody. my question to you, Coop, is out of all the <laughs> ones I just named, everybody. have you dated one of those and how did it go? So I so I don't be asking people <laughs> what they signs are, first of all. Right. But I will say this. I know I'm not compatible with a Taurus, because I have <laughs> and it just so happened we she was like one that was into like signs and stuff. Again, for me. But in having the conversation, not a, we didn't match like at all. It was like oil and water. Right, because both of y'all stubborn. I don't know about all that. I'm just telling you what it is. Okay. <laughs> Taurus are very stubborn people. They're bullheaded. Aquarius I mean, speak their mind and don't hold back. That's gonna bump head every time. It sounds like you really believe in this. I do. Boy. I do. <laughs> he really like he no, he, no, you don't never hear him be like. What's a sign? What's a sign? <laughs> like he always asks what a female sign is. I'm like, why? I feel like you about to. Bring out some tarot cards. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like. <laughs> so next we're gonna move to you, AC, which is a Pisces, okay. and you match well with Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Okay. So have you dated one of those? You know, I honestly don't know if I dated mm -hmm. one, but I'm glad you mentioned this because the one that I did date that I know I I knew their sign mm -hmm. was a Gemini, and I'm glad it's not on the list. <laughs> so. <laughs> To me, well, it was bad. It was a bad experience. Oh. It was a very bad experience. Oh. And I think after that, I didn't, want, I didn't really want to pay attention to signs because <laughs> I'm like, it, and still to this day, 
all Gemini's are crazy. I hope nobody in the Gemini. Oh, no, no, that's a true. That's a true. That's a true oh, statement. Yeah, okay. that's a true I don't statement. want to experience it again. No, that's a true <laughs> statement. But one thing that one thing I tell people, and people would think I'm crazy. That's why the main reason why I ask what your sign, ask when what they sign is, because right, as soon as I, I'm talking to you on the phone or we going out or whatever, basically I do a compatibility test. You can go online and do a compatibility test. Type in male male Aries and whatever she is. And then it's gonna give you a whole breakdown of their personality, you know saying how y'all work together, um, attitudes to watch out for. You, you, you talking about when you first meet partners? somebody, you yeah, do this? All that, bro, I do all that. But that's like that's like homework, that's too much. No, okay, so, but I don't even know if I like them enough to no, do all that. But here's my thing, if this person end up being the person that you spend the rest of your life with, don't you wanna know what you're getting yourself into? But that's is, is this is this kind of stuff important to you all? I know you hear us, we talking. I'm so with that. you. Well, I, I'm, <laughs> it's a little so you, important to me, but I, I got I mean I got my sign on my chest, so I mean it's important. Wow, <laughs> I got it really? when I was 18 years old. Okay. So, okay. but my thing is is that I I I don't I read into it, but not too much into it because I've been told I don't act like a Virgo all the time. But I'm a military brat, so it might you know upbringing has a lot to do with all that's this true. too. Mm-hmm. So it just depends. That's true. So it yeah. just, I don't know. I'm, I'm in it, but I'm not in it too much. I see so, you looking so, at me waiting. Yeah, so, so, so what yeah, do you do, do, David? Do you ask somebody what their sign is? I don't you? even <laughs> want to know your name. What sign are you? <laughs> like, see? Are you, a, are you an Aries? Um, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I think that everybody knows. You didn't tell me that too. Everybody knows. We, knows so, so we're laughing and not. everything, but like, like being serious, is this something that you like yeah. truly? Yeah. Like, Some people are die hard about this stuff. Like, like I've met women like, oh, they'd mm-hmm. be like, what's your sign? And I'm like, <laughs> Like, especially if you have like a bum bum personality, like. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have a, like a really great personality, yeah, and I feel like I'm really liking you, yeah. so what's your sign? <laughs> if you tell me Gemini, shoot. <laughs> Would you look at that? My mom's calling me. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you, me, you could not date Leo. Mm-mm. Get away from me. The plague, everything else. Not the plague. Not the plague. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it, like five Leos and y'all are, ooh. Ooh, five, yeah. And, and I, 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 tried, I tried, I tried. I do find similarities too. Like, I find similarities with all Aries. I find similarities with a lot of Gemini. So I do think that Zodiac comp- compatibility has a lot to do with it. Mm. And not only compatibility in terms of intimate relationships, but even with female friends that I have. Okay. I'm sorry. I find that a lot of my female friends have similar Zodiac signs. Well, I would say now, I would say I do get along with Leo females. I do get along with Leo females. Not, not, not so there is something to compatibility <laughs> with the same sex. I guess yeah. there is. It could be opposite for different gender, yeah. right? But same. I get it. Okay. So that affects friendships too, right? Yes, yes it does. Yeah. Because yeah, so. sometimes, man, AC Butthead could buff us emotional. And mm-hmm. I'd be, be like, oh, that's just, that's, a, that's just the Pisces in him. And that's how I look at it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's but, hey, it's real. So, so let's, let's, let's move on to you, Rico. Oh, yeah. Leo. Yeah. So basically... <laughs> <laughs> so you got you compatible with Aries, Sagittarius. What's, you what's, saying some Gemini's and Libras. What was uh, what was what was February? What's February? Fe- February is Aquarius. Mm-hmm. And that's on my list. No, you know that's not on the list. Is that what is that what that's what Stacey is? That's not, not on the list. But, <laughs> but here's, a, here's the thing. No, listen. Here's the thing. Aquarius, which is my sign. Okay, on the our list you got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Is that for? I mean, is that male? Because male, male or female? So, so then I'm. I'm, I'm that's what I'm saying. That's why I say you hit the nail on the head when you married your wife because she's okay. an Aquarius. Yeah. So you 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 did good. So you telling me before I get married, I need to be like, what's your what's sign? Your sign what's your sign? What's your sign? Yeah. What's your Listen, I'm not gonna say you should do it, but I think you should be concerned about what you get yourself into because, like I said, believe believe it or not, the compatibility test and we all adults. Mm-hmm. It breaks it all the way down from. The type of partner they're going to be as far as from a business standpoint, all the way down to sex. It breaks it all the way down. It's going to tell you no the type of person that she's spontaneous or you're going to have to basically, you know, be like, bored like with her. It, it tells you all of that. Like, That's why I read into it. In the garage. And we don't, we don't, we don't dinner with somebody and I'm basically, you know, paying attention to their the signs time. and the things that they do. I'm like, you know, I read that. What sign is December? Uh, That's Sagittarius. Oh, all it, of this, no. Not all of it. 
Like um, the, the end of December. The end of December, Sagittarius. No, end of December is Capricorn. That no, well, it depends on the dates. Depends on the dates. Okay, right. okay, yeah. All right, 20, the 20, 23rd. So how, so you who is that? No, I just said no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you so you you were married for a long time. What, what was what was her sign? I don't know. Oh, uh, well, let me see. What? Uh, <laughs> no, I have. I don't know. I don't have a memorized. Let me see. What January? My boy. Yeah. Okay, that's Capricorn. Uh, no. Capricorn is December twenty third. You said twenty third, right? No, Aquarius. January. Aquarius. No, I'm saying you said she was Aquarius. This, the end of December. No, that was that was yeah. my question. Like, like, yeah, I'm, no, I'm asking. You know what I'm saying what date? What's the date again? December twenty third. That's a Capricorn. Yeah, but now we're talking yeah. about. My, my, okay. Now, wait, 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 what was that sign? What was that sign? <laughs> uh, who? Was that? Was she, bro, I was trying to no, I said my bad, bro. She, she was, he was saying she was Aquarius. She crazy. Right. <laughs> mm. Anyway, so, so were y'all compatible? No, that wasn't. No. Uh, so, so, so no, you married for a little while. What, 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 what happened with that? Was, did, was she the right sign? So why? You, that, that, but here's the crazy. Before you started doing this whole thing. Here's the crazy part. Mm. She was not the right sign, but she on the list. Like it says that Aquarius are compatible with Gemini's. Mm -hmm. My sister Gemini, my ex-wife was Gemini. I don't date it too, and I got along with none of them except my sister. And that's because she's my blood, so I got to. I was about to but, say. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't have a choice with that. I love you, sis. <laughs> I don't have a choice with we that. love you, Stacey. <laughs> but if she was my sister, mm -hmm. nah, that's more siblings anyway. But yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Look, we should have had Tori to come on the show. I guess, uh, I guess what about y'all and y'all love? Oh, like, so we're going to move to her. So, so you, yeah, ma'am, uh, Virgo. I'm trying to pass. You're most, you're most, <laughs> what? You're most compatible <laughs> with other Virgos. <laughs> Gemini, mm -hmm. Sagittarius, and Pisces. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, ma'am, the Cancer. <laughs> okay, you compatible with Mr. A, I think it's Aries. No, sir. No? <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? Where no, you no, it's nothing against you, Coop. Oh, I my mean. God. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I, think it's, I think it's Aries, Sagittarius, um, um, Capricorn as well. Yeah, yeah, other mm -hmm. Capricorns. Right. So when, as far as being the same sex, it just depends on like friends. Like me, as far as dating Aries, like I think I dated two, but it said that it was it was it's gonna be a very competitive relationship. So what it meant by that was basically, if you, because most, and my boy Cooper Aries, they can tell you, most Aries are hustlers. Okay. So, you know, and Aquarius, we all about basically doing a lot of stuff. So it became a competitive relationship because she was always working. So, and it's like, we barely had time for each other. So it really was like a hit and miss type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Be true. So this, 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 is, this is definitely <laughs> important. So, you know, like I said, I suggest everybody, you know, it, it, it won't hurt. You know, you date somebody, hey, what's that sign? Because if you go and read some of this stuff and you sit, if, my thing is the compatibility test really helps you kind of cut down on the arguments or basically the things that a person like and don't like. Mm -hmm. Because if you did the time, if you took the time to do the research on their signs <clears throat> and see some of the things about them, it basically, it can even help you plan a date. Okay, right now I know she's a Virgo, right. and I know she like this right here, so I'm gonna do something like this to make sure she's fun. Mm -hmm. And then she having fun, I'm like, yep, nope, hit that on the head. I do want to go back, man, because I, I want to circle back on something because you know after thinking about it, <clears throat> I don't. All right, so when you talk signs and compatibility, mm -hmm. right, you really got to think about what is compatibility, like because. Mm -hmm. And I circle back to you asked me about my ex-wife were we compatible. Mm -hmm. So when I when I really think about that, I mean, five years of dating, twelve years of marriage, two kids, there had to be some sort of compatibility there, right? No, not necessarily. Uh, it's got to be some sort. I mean, to go a certain amount of time. Now, then this is where you have to break down compatibility because if we don't see eye to eye on some things, maybe raising kids or. Um, career, mindset, stuff finances. like that. Finances. Does that play into was it, compatibility? Was it compatibility or was it tolerating? Yes. Good well, question. I was about to say, I'm, I'm, a passive, I'm a passive person too. Really? So. Exactly. Yeah, so, so you gotta look I ain't at passive. And, and, and we, we, we keep it real on bro code. <laughs> you, you, you my brother names. and I love you. <laughs> I'm saying, I think it was more so of you being the emotional person that you are and you don't like conflict. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So you tolerated the sis, the, you tolerated her, even though it's a lot of stuff that you knew that you didn't have in coming. The fact of the matter that you done trying to do right by her because you married her, and you looking at basically everything that you can only like say because you can only control yourself. Right. So right. You, you being the type of person that don't like a lot of conflict and don't like a lot of arguing or whatever, Miss Sam, it was more so the fact that it was toleration, but. One thing about that I know about Pisces, I'm saying they are very, I'm saying emotional people to the point where once they start talking and get it out, then it's a lot. So therefore, that, that brings me back to what I was telling you when you first came on the show. Yeah. You was kind of quiet until we gave you the environment where you just open up. Now you the AC of today versus yesterday. Right. Well, so yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I will say, and I think you the, you shed some light on, on 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 some of that. I will say I've always been a talkative person. <laughs> I've always, but sometimes when you go through stuff in life. It, it makes you back up, right? So me coming to Bro Code and us starting this panel, it really kind of just helped me out of that hole in talking and being a, have a platform to talk, you know, so. But yeah. So now let's move to something that's important that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Ooh, constantly yes. learning how important this is to oh, women. I'm saying, but I think it should be important to men as well. Even though we probably don't touch on it as much, but it still should be important. Okay, and those are the five love languages. So the five love languages are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, uh, acts of services, and physical touch. Okay. okay, those are the five love languages. Not everyone communicates their love language the same way. Okay, you know, you have some people who value that a lot more than others. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I think the highest percentage love language for men is quality time and physical touch. So let me ask you before we go down this, and excuse me for not maybe being as educated on this topic as you guys are. So love language, is mm -hmm. that what you like to receive or what you like to give? Both. It's yeah, both. 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 Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, it can, it can, it can be a two-way street. And once again, they have a test for this too. Yeah. So if you don't know what your love language is, they have a test that you can go, they can ask you a series of questions, <laughs> and then basically based on your, your answer to these questions, yeah. it rates those five things in order that which is one more important to you. Yeah. So I'm going to go around the room with the five love language. Cool. What's your, what's your the top two love languages? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, mine would be... Um, and explain why. <clears throat> mine would be uh, physical touch and quality time. Okay, why is that? Not just... When I say physical touch, I don't just mean, you know, adult activity. Adult activity, like, right, 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 right. Um, holding hands, hugging, cuddling, you know, stuff like yeah. that. Um, and then... The you said what? No, the, don't they call that PDA? Yeah, PDA. You don't like that? No, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can kiss in the store. I ain't, yeah. I ain't finna be embarrassed. Yeah. I'm gonna pull you close. No, we, we keep you it real, bro. Close. I'm yeah. seven at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. What y'all doing? Get off this aisle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. Um, what about you? What's your, what's your top two? Receiving gifts. Okay. Okay. Straight receiving up. Receiving gifts. He said that strong. <laughs> receiving gifts. I don't think they heard you. Say it one more time. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. Receiving gifts. <laughs> look, look at this camera. <laughs> receiving <laughs> gifts. They say, we keep it real, old bro. And <laughs> again, receiving gifts, but also words of affirmation. I'm a big, you know, I love you. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm big on that. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, those would my, be my top two. Okay. What about you? I think, okay, so physical touch, and I'm struggling between quality time and word, words of affirmation. So, yeah. okay, okay, I got okay. three. So, my, my top two <laughs> is um, physical touch and quality time. But quality time is my number one. And, and the reason why quality time <clears throat> is my number one because I, you know, like to get to know the person who I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We spend the time with you, you know what I'm saying? Whether we walking in the park, or, you know, going to a movie, going bowling, you know, something like that. Something where I can basically take you out of the element where I can really see who you are. Like I said, I already don't did the compatibility test. I already don't, did, I already don't read up on you. So now I'm just trying to see all this stuff I don't read. I'm trying to see if you're going to act like that. Hey, you're a professional profiler, man. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go work for the FBI, I man. I'm, I mean, you're going to get your job with the bureau, so, bro. You know, basically, it's, it's people that basically really have arguments and don't work out of relationships because they don't know the person right, who they right. deal with their love languages. Yeah. And it's that, it's that serious. So, yeah. so I know we had, I know that they have now, when people get married, they have uh, spiritual counseling and all that stuff. Should they do like 
combat compatibility tests? Should they like bring up like zodiac comparisons and compatibility and stuff like that as well? I know yeah. you do. You do this part. I think that uh, like they do. They do this part. Yeah, I don't know. This, I mean, this part was a part of. Is that part of? Christian, oh, was it? Christian okay. Counseling, yeah. Spiritual counseling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was in there. Yeah. Oh, so they actually like took y'all zodiac signs and was like. No, 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 no zodiac stuff. Oh, okay, but yeah, just. I not that, but <laughs> no, like, no, like, 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 yeah. y'all talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I see. What's your top two? All right. So, for me, my top two um, first is uh, words of affirmation, and I'll, okay. I'll tell you why. Um, okay. You know, I think I shared with you guys. I was kind of my mama's boy, right? You know, I had a good relationship with my mom. Part of that, wrong with it. It. right? It's nothing wrong with it. Me and you agreed on that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> part of that was my mom being very in tune to me always being that one to kind of uplift me. So that kind of stuck with me mm-hmm. in adolescence and adulthood. Um, the second one is uh, physical touch. Okay. Physical touch, and, and and not in the adult activity sense, mm-hmm. more of the when we're spending time, when you're spending time, and just that gentle mm-hmm. touch on the ear or mm-hmm. head rub. You know, it just, mm-hmm. it just, again, it just kind of confirms the intuitiveness. Right? Little you know, backside so grab. You want to rub through your hair, man? Like, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I grew my hair out so, you know, I can get, you know. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so to touch back on what you said earlier when you mentioned the ex, by, word, by words of affirmation for you, yeah. basically, I feel like I actually did a lot more of that to let you know, oh, oh, hey, you that dude that I really appreciate definitely. you. I, yeah. I, I would have felt like that would have worked a lot, a lot better for you. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, for me, I, I love Caribbean women, mm-hmm. you know, so my, my mm-hmm. ex-wife being Haitian, you know, it was a little, and I know you mentioned you're Haitian mm-hmm. and everything <laughs> like that, so I'm going to tread lightly. Um, <laughs> no, 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 what I'm saying is, it's, it's, just a different, it's just a different culture, you know, faster pace moving. You know, a little aggressive tone. You know, I, it took me a while to get you know used to that. But um, yeah, had it been a little bit more of the softer side, um, it, it would have helped. Yeah. What you Rico? What's your top two? My number one definitely is the words of affirmation, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and that and that even comes outside of I'm gonna say like relationship, even in the workplace. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm a person that I always want to know like. Hey, you know, if I do something, you know what I'm saying, I want to know I'm doing a good job. Right, and, right, and right, you right. want to hear it, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. And then my next one, I'm mean, going like, to sound like I'm copying off you, but definitely the physical touch. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. for sure. It's important. Yeah. Okay. We hard. We need that softness. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean like I said, touch and, me. And, Make and, me and, and, yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. Word, yeah. I think yeah. words of <laughs> affirmation is my third one. Grab my back. Yeah. So like, how, my how, how, <laughs> how important are love languages? Love languages are one of the ways to address conflicts, I'm saying, or emotional distance in relationships. So when I say that, it's most so of if you basically, like you just said, you said you said a lot in pride. It was said gifts, mm-hmm. okay. If you know that she like gifts, cause see, I, I dated somebody and uh, was, was, was her name was gifts. I'm saying it was, that was her love language. You said what was her name? That, that, no, I said that was her love language. No, I said no. Gifts, I, said, yes. I was trying to remember yes. the, receiving gifts. Like, like, right. So gifts. That's, that's a hard stuff. No, no. Gifts was her love language. What? Yet and still, I didn't know that until a lot of deeper into it was causing a lot of conflicts, mm-hmm. a lot of emotional stress. You know, yeah. getting mad. You don't ever do nothing. Never buy me nothing. I'm like, what? Like what? Did, did she, so then, did she, when, when she, she told for, me, did she ask for anything? Yeah, no, not not necessarily. Like, basically, that, see, that's the thing that's that's crazy about these love languages. Like, literally, you supposed to just know. Right. I was about to say, most people, if they love language is gift giving or physical, t- like they, it typically will come up once, like when you meet and you having that conversation, and after that, it doesn't anymore. So they expect you to just nope. <laughs> revert back. Yeah. yeah. So does a gift giver, I'll ask you, does a gift giver, or a gift, your love language is receiving gifts, does that mean you like to give, them? give gifts as well? Yes, yeah, so I find that a lot of the times I show love the way I like to receive it. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And that's not necessarily the Peace best way. Can you say louder to the ones in the back, please? <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, don't think that. Yeah, repeat that to the ones in the back, yeah. please. Because it, that means it's a two-way street. It right. is, but okay, yeah, we that's can say that one more time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, right. We gonna look up here, just like, right? No, but mic I mean, check. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I. That's the way I feel love. So that's the way I show love. Mm-hmm. And and gift giving doesn't need to be a Mercedes Benz 2024. No, 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 no. It can 20, be something. 24? It can be a 20, 20, 20, 22, 23. It can be. You want a 25? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say if you, if you. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I was just saying gift giving doesn't necessarily have to be a grand. It can be in simple gestures, like you coming over, you bring a chocolate. It can be something simple. Yeah, but yeah. that just shows that for me, I'm on your mind. You're thinking about me, yeah. so you're coming. 
me, don't come and look for me. You have nothing, like just two long hands, nothing. That's it. Well, the, the hands might be, I'm bringing a massage. <laughs> Right. They, hey, there you go. I done brought, brought the hand. Well, that's I got not the baby oil in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that I have baby oil in your hand. This is a gift right here, baby. This is you. No, but that gift is going to turn to that turn out into a gift for you. And that's not <laughs> it. It will. It is. She right. If you're not careful with, with something like that, I'll just decide, though, like, your love language might be, uh, say, giving gifts. Like, your love language might be giving gifts. And mm. mine might be emotional touch. Mm. But if I'm not if I'm not receiving what I need, then it's going to put a strain on a relationship, and it's not going to last. True. Right. It's the That's same true. thing. You know, just because my love language... You know, your love language is that, and mine isn't. That doesn't mean that you can't give me what I need. If, exactly. if you don't give a person what they need, eventually they're not going to be there long. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. And it yeah, doesn't, yeah. It, you know, and that doesn't mean financially all the time. Right. Everybody thinks, oh, financially, I give you this, I give you that. But that's right. not what I need. Right. I need from you this particular thing. Mm-hmm. And if you can't give me that, then I'm going to feel emotionally de- deficient. Right. Yeah, you know? that's, right. that's true. true. And there are probably more women that need, like, <clears throat> words of affirmation. Words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time over like gifts. Like, you know, a lot of women rather receive your attention and your time yeah. than to receive your exactly. checkbook or your wallet. Yeah. And, and like I said, and regard, regardless of the gender <laughs> or, you know, the generation, you know, learning someone to love language basically helps the relationship because it, it benefits the relationship. Like I said, if you know that she's like, and you know, I'm glad you made that point about basically as far as gifts. It doesn't necessarily have to be something all extravagant and spend a whole bunch of money mm-hmm. on or whatever. It's the fact of the matter, I'm coming up to your house and I think about you and I bust your rose. Right. Yeah. You know, something simple like that. You know what I'm saying? You no know, different thing I'm trying to educate you fellas. Yeah, it don't you know need what I'm to be saying? a dozen roses. Right. Just pray me one. Yeah, just, just bring me one. I, I, I would say one. Hey, fellas, he just gave you a gym. I would say six, but okay. Oh, I mean. <laughs> six, 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 what? I wouldn't say one. I'm six. But I'm joking. I'm joking, but it can be something So, you know, we, we do topics like that, we know we have to have them stats, cool. You know, we have to have them stats. I like okay. stats. You know I like so, stats. Hey, 41% Ooh. of people feel that relationships struggle if they don't share the same love language as their partner. The same? I don't know the about same. that. No, yeah. I, you know, I feel like if you care about somebody, you're going to explore that. And if you love that person, you're going to find out what their love language is. Right. Because if yeah. you're happy, I'm happy. Yes. Right. Yeah. And vice versa. I agree. So if yeah. you're struggling, it's because it's by choice. And I'm, I, Yeah, I definitely want to say that before yes. you got into your stats. Mm. I mean, if, if people go into relationships wanting to serve mm. their exactly. mate, you know what I mean? You're going to look. You're going to seek out mm. what that exactly. person's love languages are. Mm. Exactly. If you're serving, you're going you're gonna to find those. And, and that's going to help you serve your mate. You know, mm-hmm. So it's got to be intentional. So even if you... Don't or what's this one feel the relationship with struggle if they if they did if they're not compatible and you're serving, you can make it work. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, you, you you disagree because your face is your face is saying so. I mean, what's your, what's it, it, it just, I, I guess it depends on the person. It depends on the person because some people are more understanding than others. So it just depends on the person who you with. And if you in t- like you said, in tune yeah. with them, then I, I they, believe that's that possible. I believe that all of these though are just guidelines, really. So mm-hmm. Zodiac compatibility is just a starter. You know, love languages is a starter. A relationship takes actual work. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, just putting in that work. Right. So putting in that effort to understand the love language. Even if you guys are not really 100% compatible on the Zodiac scale, but still taking the time out to understand the person and putting in that little extra work that may be required. But it doesn't have to be hard work either. Right. I mean, right. if you care, again, let's go back to if you care about a person, it... It, relationships are not hard. People make them hard. Thank you. I had just recently said, said in a group chat with uh, some of my, my male friends, I said, man, marriage is a beautiful thing. It is. Mm-hmm. One, of the, the one, right one of my guys came back and said, the lies you tell. <laughs> <laughs> the lies. Hey, that's a, hey, we need to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The lies you tell. I'm like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. I ain't never. Mm-hmm. Listen, you used to be married. Right. I ain't never heard a married man say marriage is beautiful. I'm like, first of all, there's two married men in this group <laughs> chat. I'm not going to talk negative. More, yeah, marriage. multiple. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was multiple. Right. So it's like, I say that to say mm-hmm. that I feel like the state of relationships, yeah, I'm not even going to get into marriage. Just the state of relationships is, 
it's, I mean, it's getting hard. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's really getting it bad. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. in the industry. That's even yeah. worse. I don't know. Good old man. Oh. That's horrible. In the, what, in the, the entertainment? entertainment? Yeah, entertainment, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, everybody yeah. want to be a secret. I can, well, that's I, the I, problem I, right I, there. Yeah. Right. Regular people taking their cues from the entertainment people, and, and they don't need, they can't even relate to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that's true. But they looking at them for guidance. No. Why? No, that's true. Y'all didn't even in the same pay scale. Why you? Yeah. Why would you even think that they would have anything to offer you? And not not even the pay scale. It's all about the image too. The industry. Yeah, I mean, like, that too. Like like, like you know, we, we cool behind a closed door, but I don't want to yeah. be taking a picture with you and be asking because, questions. Because, they, because yeah, their image horrible. may be because they, <laughs> they, they, they want to look single. They want to look single to attract certain right. followers and all this kind of stuff. So yeah. they can't. So they can't. So they can't. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot of that is so, by yeah. design yeah. too. Yeah. Because, yeah. So, so it's like, hey, yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm with somebody, but not in public. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and that's embarrassing, and that's yeah, that that, that does something to a woman's self esteem, and yeah. that's why you know I find it real mm-hmm. hard in dating in the industry because if you can't post a picture of me on social media, we got a whole problem. Say, say what? I look good. Bus <laughs> stop. Say, say what? Bus stop. Because you already know how I feel about that. <laughs> So, so if, you, if, 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 you with, if you with somebody, <laughs> there you go, yeah. y'all like go on vacation and stuff like that together. And when I get would, mad, my would, social would media you, gets turned off. Expect to be on his social media, like posted. If y'all if y'all are dating, let's say y'all are dating for like yeah. a year or so, maybe two uh-huh. years. Yeah. And then y'all go to let's say he's Jamaica, so right? He's so and y'all on the beach, and y'all taking pictures. Yeah. Wait, who on the beach though? And he posts and he posts a picture of himself on the beach. Exactly, that's jacked up. Oh no! 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 So because I'm on your, because I'm on your social media, that means we're in a relationship. What social media have to do with anything? No, 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 I'm, I'm you know, like, some people oh, validate like, their like, relationships. Like, 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 if, if you're in a relationship with, 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 with a guy, right? So you're in a relationship, right? And y'all y'all doing all this traveling and stuff together. And go to Jamaica. Yeah, you go to Jamaica, right? Oh wow! And, and your partner, he loves social media. He posts. Oh, he loves social media. But when he posts. He never puts you in the pictures That's at all, up. That's right? Exactly. But you're right there. You right over there. Oh, you out. <laughs> what was we talking about? Uh, so, uh, so how do you feel about that? How do you boy? feel about yeah, that? How do, you feel about how do I feel? Yeah. About that? Well, she already said. She said she's over. You hiding. See, that shows me that you're hiding something, or you're hiding me, or you're trying to keep some kind of clout going on. Mm. And it, you know, it, in in the industry, I hate that. That's that's actually one of my things. This ain't no industry. I feel like it's. Like, what are you talking it. about? But if it's not industry, it's still messed up because <laughs> you're hiding that person. Who are you in pattern, man. You pattern. Who's that person you talking about, man? We, <laughs> hey, we, what are you, we need to get him on. But I mean, is it is that not true? Because uh, I that, think it's true. Okay, let me say this. That's one of my love languages. If you ain't oh. me, guess what? I'm putting on my wall. You're not you're not what getting over this wall until I see that I'm getting what I need from you emotionally to make this thing go further. You okay, so like, okay, you like you being let me ask a question though. Like what does that mean? What do you like? Mean? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? What do you if mean? A, if you okay, so you say that it's a problem for you if a guy don't post you on social media, y'all together, y'all date. Mm-hmm. So if he posts you, then does that mean he loves you more? No, it means that he's fulfilling my emotional needs. That is what I need for me to feel like I am like part of his team. Validating. Exactly. That's validating. Because you can take pictures with everybody else. What's wrong with me? Mm. You can take a picture with your car. You can take a picture with your. Okay. 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 So, okay. so smile, baby. Okay. So look. So look. Okay. Okay, so say, <laughs> so he take a picture with you and he post it. Maybe he don't tag you. So then what? Tag Is it an argument about him not tagging no, you? I, I'm on there, baby. It don't matter. I'm on there. I have a ride. I, I, All right, so let's, let's, let's move on because you, you petty. You petty, man. Let's get some more, so, let's get some more stats, man. So 60, 65% say they love like have changed over the years. So I'm assuming basically, you know, Depends on who you with, you know, if they, like you said, fulfilling Wait, those needs or whatever. Right. And then 33% of people, you know, have reported maintaining a successful relationship in which partners <laughs> did not understand the love language. So it's a real low number for the people that basically is with someone and don't know their love languages. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now basically let's move on to as far as, you know, we always doing men, women, you know, what matters to each. Mm-hmm. So as far as men, let's, let's start with the women. I'm saying so. Females, their favorite love languages are quality, quality time, time, acts of services. That, that comes in second. Third comes in words of affirmation. I was surprised when I seen that gifts come in fourth. And then five physical touch. So this is, this, is, 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 it, is this like an average or something? <laughs> and so, put what right, where? That's, 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 yeah, study show. It was study like, show. I, did, I did my research. I did my homework. <laughs> right. Okay. So study but, show. But I guess it's like, like I said, but I'm not surprised that quality time is number one. Reason being because... In order for you to get the rest of them, you got to spend time with them. 
But I, I, I bet I can tell you what that. I bet I can tell you what that number one act of service is. What's that, Coop? Because women hate it all across the board. Wait, what is that? What's that? Putting gas in their car. Fellas, what? You, 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 you said what? You actually touched the pump? Yes. Good, I like you already. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> women hate putting gas in their car. So did you, did you realize when we was on vacation? Uh, we was in Jamaica. You you can't pump the gas. They pump the gas for you. Mm-hmm. They still got full service. I'm yeah. still getting wow, used to nice. it here. Like you know, I'm still getting we, used to pumping my own we gas. Up and they were like, what? Was like, what the hell are these people doing? That's what you got for, bro. No, uh, uh-uh. I'll meet you at the QT. He's, <laughs> Okay, think about it. Okay, <laughs> so the physical, I think physical test is, is, is I'm just gonna be real with you. I think it's physical test for some women is low on the list because some women feel like once they get you, they don't have to do much. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That should be number one. I'm sorry. That's definitely physical, physical touch. Physical <laughs> touch for women, or what would yeah, you mean? For women. Like, like, oh, like is, 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 is that's it? That's not our number them, one. Them, them receiving it or giving it? Yeah, that's it's what both. I want to know. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's so a this, lie. Yeah, I yeah. think for the female, it'll be quality time because you gotta have the quality time to get to the physical. That's that what I said. Oh, okay. But quality time, not necessarily. Some right. women might want to just get straight to the physical test. Well, I mean, you got those. They don't. You they got, they got those too. You know what I mean, you got I those. Mean, okay. They ain't no. They ain't no. They ain't no, they ain't no different than us. You know what I'm saying? I think. But, but I mean, see, like, like for women, you gotta warm them up. No, oh, some of them. <laughs> some of them. It's a handful of them. You got to warm them up. Some of them already on go. You don't need to warm them up. So you got, we ain't got to preheat no oven. Right. That oven come hot, man. Right. Some of them. What are you talking about? What the hell on here? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> so for the men, number one is going to be physical touch. Okay. Gift giving was number two. I was shocked really? on that. For me? Yeah, yeah for really? yeah, right. Giving. Oh, no, by that. Giving. Oh, well, giving. Giving. Wait, no, no, no. Giving. Yeah, yeah. Giving. Giving. Well, no, that's, that's, that's us receiving, though. though. No, it's giving. Gift giving. Like, so, us giving gifts? Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Sugar daddy, man. Yeah. yeah but, uh, it's a lot of those. A lot of those. Words of affirmation comes in third. Acts of services and comes in fourth, time. and quality time comes in fourth. I can see that quality time being low. I why? Mean, why? Like, like, because yeah, that's not a man. You, see, you like, so like some dudes, oh, it's yeah, like, man, they they want to do. You know what I'm saying? If they want, they want to get their physical touch in, and then give you a gift and be gone. Like, and then, and then they. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just saying. No, I mean, that's my accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most men have hobbies. Right. The physical touch is done. I done gave you the gifts, so they think they they've done everything they need to go. They're done. So no, no cuddling. Oh I mean, oh, we, we, everybody ain't emotional yeah. like you, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Orange, 1990s R&B dude. No, man, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. See, don't let a devil use your brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm, you see how she got my back? You see that? Look at it. You see that? Look at it. Everybody's going to be different, but I can see how the list got laid out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Being a guy and hanging around guys, you can see they're like, man, I'm gone. Fellas, what it is? What? Hey, get out of here. I mean, guys don't, I would think acts of service would be right up there with number two because, like, cooking, you know, making sure that they have their clothes out and all this good stuff, you know. You but we don't acts consider that acts of service. That's, we consider that, like, stuff that you're supposed to do. So, I'm, so if I was Most men, no, I'm not saying like, me. I'm just saying <laughs> most men don't look at cooking and ironing his clothes and doing his laundry well, as, but it's not, they don't look at it like that. They, if, so, okay, if yeah, as a man, I'm dating you uh-huh. and I'm just, we just this is just an example. Right. <laughs> as a if as a man, if I'm dating you, uh-huh. most men expect at minimal for you to cook okay. and do laundry. Expect? Yes. Yeah. Now okay, so you ain't dating no man. Like you. I'm just asking James. <laughs> No, no, yes, hey, so now the, the newer, the newer age women, said, they expect you to pay all their bills. Go. Is that something that um? <laughs> that, when, you know, when, you, when you spend your, when you, when, you you expect, when you dating you, when you dating you don't expect no woman to. Well, you can't. Okay, so you looking at you're okay. you're looking at dating from your perspective. <laughs> don't look at dating from your perspective. Look at dating in general. Like right. you don't know what the next dude expect. Like right. I've I've I have friends. Like homegirls, they'd be like, they've dated guys that expected them. Do they live to together? Cook. No. Oh. Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying. To... But no, not not living together, but just dating. I come to your house, you come to my house. If he's coming to her house, he come through the door, he expecting food. Mm. Or if she come into his house, he might be expecting her to clean up. Yeah. Or her to do laundry. Like I I've, I had homeboys that was like, hey. I got a chick come over. Like, she like, doing lunch. She cleaning. I don't. I don't. I don't take that as active service though, because 
Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's something I can do. Like cooking, right. cleaning, yeah. all so that stuff. Wash, I can do. All that. So, okay, right. so what is active, active service? Yeah. So okay. active service is you got a man that says, I don't, I don't, I want, I need to get my feet done, but I don't want to go into the, the nail salon, right? Okay. So that woman hears that and says, All right, I'm gonna do my man's feet. To me, that's an act of service. Or if you want a massage, she send you a masseuse. There to your is. house. That's an act of service. That's oh, an act of service. Yeah. Like she can do it. Yeah. Or she, yeah. Okay. Um, acts of service for me would be, I'm, I'm thinking more so of, um, you know, if you see I had a hard day, mm-hmm. and basically you you set the mood for us to just sit down and, and hold each other and talk about whatever was on my mind. I think that's a good act of service. Being able to be very, you know, give me give me a safe place. To be able to express myself. And that, yeah, I mean, that varies. Yeah. My question is, right? How, no, it's like, like my okay, question good. is, how do, how do we know this? I mean, we talk about it, and mm-hmm. we talk about it in general terms. So we say, I, my, my love language is physical touch as a man. I mean, how do I differentiate? Is it physical touch like just here, or is it adult activities? How do I know good, as man, a woman? Good. You like, know what I mean? Like, I mean, like, like say, if it's not, we looking at TV laying on my chest. And mm-hmm. Like you say, just, just doing it, you know, right, rubbing right. it. It don't have to do, that. Right. that's it, right? right so that's right. the physical touch. Right. Yeah. That, that, that goes back to, like, knowing the person that you're talking to, yeah. you're seeing, yeah. you know, right. rubbing, paying attention. Yeah. Rubbing your feet on my legs. Right. right. Yeah. So basically, okay, the, the, hard, the hardest <laughs> love language that's is when it's good, that yeah. people <laughs> struggle with. <clears throat> so I, I, did like stash, I did a stash coop. So oh, we got I, some all, more stats? All, yeah, most of it. So out of all five love languages, these are the ones from top to bottom that they struggle with the most. So the Wait, who num- struggle with? The number one love language that everybody struggle with, men and women, okay, okay is gift that. giving. Uh, That's 28%. They don't want to spend that money. <laughs> well, no, if you got someone that wants you to spend the money, they don't want to reciprocate. <laughs> right. I know a lot of those, okay? Where are you getting these statistics from? Okay, okay listen to yeah. Words of affirmation yeah, comes in a second. The source up there, man. With 20, <laughs> 27, you can Google it. You can Google it. <laughs> My boy came with the stats for hey, y'all tonight. 27 That's what I'm talking about. Physical touch comes in at 21%. Okay. Okay. Because, and and I, I can see physical touch being kind of, you know, high like that because... You have to know a person. I can't just come meet you and just rub on your leg all of a sudden oh, and then you be like, yeah, exactly. See? That, that, thank you. See? That's my point. That's my point. It's like, what? <laughs> but, but, that's, right. but, but we you, you made it seem like you didn't even know her, but this is like if you're in a relationship. Well, no, I'm saying, but still, some people, here's the thing you gotta understand, regardless of their relationship or not, some people just have not been able to be that comfortable to the point where they can just touch. rub on a person or touch them like that. Like, like you just said, they got to warm them up. <laughs> Well, no, no. I mean, when I when I was saying warm them up, I meant from a from a from as a woman. Like like most time, men, you know, what I'm saying if she come in there, you be like, okay, you ready? Go right. For a woman, it's almost like if you got to start like early in the day, giving her the words of affirmation, doing some little stuff. Believe, believe, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> believe, believe it or not, bro, that, that's not true. What? No. Got, listen, no, no, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. That's not true for real. Like you got some women actually that basically yeah. complain about men not being affectionate and they be all over them. Exactly. Exactly. You missed the whole on go. That was the whole on go conversation we were just having. The way about like, no, I don't need all that. Yeah, no, no, not all women are like that. Like, so, I do know some women yeah, that are like, like that. Like, but so, not all so, so, like, so, 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 like, so, like, so you be on go. <laughs> like, I, mean, I, I would say most. With the <laughs> what? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Rico. No, nah, it would just seem like you know from the, well, I've heard like most women, right? It's a, it's a, you start something. It's kind of like an all day kind of romance type thing. Mm-hmm. Something, you know what I'm saying? And like for men. You could just come in there and just grab us all the time, and we just okay, mm-hmm. cool, right? Just but grab most me. women not gonna be like that all the time. Like, hey, what, you ain't talking to me all day. If you ain't talking to me all day, and you come in the grab, I'm cool. Still, I ain't, I ain't, you ain't call me or nothing, Wherever right? Wherever you got those women from, <laughs> you know, I might, I might, I might play hard to get. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I ain't talk to you all day. You, that might, that might last for like five minutes. But I will, I will say this because I have dated a lot of Caribbean women and I will say the culture is different than Americanized women or American women because mm-hmm. most American women are reserved. Be careful, Nancy. Uh, be careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you got to be careful. Yeah, I'm yeah, good. Be careful. But what, I, what I've noticed that most Caribbean women <laughs> are what I want to say on go. It's sure, just well. like life, life of the party, not life of the party, but just mm-hmm. Vibrant. I would culture. say it's, it's a different culture. It's a different what? speed. It's a different. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I've noticed that, and, that, and actually, that's a beautiful thing. Okay. Okay. So would you? So so is that true? Like Korean? What? 
Like, you don't have to warm me up all day. Thank you. I promise you. It's cool. 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 It's no, I, I don't think it's a whole, it's a whole day no. process. We should be able to pass certain points and do what we have to do, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Mm. Okay, let's move on to, to this. Great <laughs> so, yes. this, 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 I know I've been sounding like I know all this, but this now, one, I never heard of this, this one. This one was new. Yeah, yeah, this one was new yeah, to me. This is new to me too. Yeah, I had so to research we, it. We got to learn this together. Okay, yeah, this yeah, one was new to me. Let's do it. So it's called the five apology language. Mm-hmm. Five apology language. Right. So you got expressing regret. You got accepting responsibility. Mm-hmm. You got making restitution. restitution. Generally repenting, and requesting forgiveness. So you got to do all of those, that, or you just like no. do one so or the other? That's what, I was, that's what I was thinking at first. Like, oh, you got to do all of that? Right. No, it depends on what you do what the situation falls in one, between in one of those categories. Uh, and okay. there, is, there is an assessment for that as well. Oh, and but, I've actually uh-oh. done that assessment, and it it really. Oh, so you know this? I, you know what? I'm not gonna say I'm a master because I was really surprised when I did it. I mm-hmm. had a friend that introduced it to me, and we did it together, and it really was spot on. And the way it's done, it gives you different scenarios, mm-hmm. and you choose like how you would express your apology, like verbatim, like how would you do? It? And you'll circle. It's multiple choice. You'll circle, and then mm-hmm. at, at the end, of it, there's a there's a rating for each, and it, it's it's these right here. Mm-hmm. And I can honestly, I can't remember which one mine was, but uh, well, there is. A I, after reading the breakdown of them, I was like, okay, man, so, this so is. So what are those? So basically, studies found that all five languages. Are needed for an effective, meaningful apology. So all five of them, what's, right? What's five of them? What, what, the, the ones I just told you. Okay, okay. Okay. So you and your partner might, you know, have different apology languages. You know, you know, basically the way she might say, "I'm, I'm just sorry," you know, and that's it. But you may get, have to go depending on what you did. Mm-hmm. You might have to go a little deeper than that. Yeah. So basically, knowing your apology language is important for, you know, a, a healthy relationship and communication because basically just let the person know that you truly, you know, if you hurt them, that you truly sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I've done something with my boys. I have two. Y'all know I got two, two boys, mm-hmm. 11 and 8. But we don't do I'm sorry in the house. So when I have the boys, when you apologize, you state what you're apologizing mm-hmm. for. That's good. And we don't use the word I'm sorry. It's I apologize. Hey, mm-hmm. Austin, apologize to your brother. Brayden, I'm sorry for this. So, so it kind of reinforces, like, you're acknowledging what you did. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that falls that, 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 that into the second one. The first one, saying I'm sorry, expressing regret. That's basically when you talk about you know, the feeling, show the understanding, the impact that you had, emotionally, frustration, disappointment, fear, mm-hmm. so on. But you have to basically be in, be in more specific on exactly what you did, not just say I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. You know, if I hit your leg, I'm sorry I hit your leg. I hope that didn't hurt. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the second, one, the second one is saying I was wrong, and set the responsibility. Okay. Now, when I read this one, I was like, okay, this is this is an interesting one, because you know, I, I might be that dude like, hey, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to do this, then I want to do that. Ooh. So that's really not. That's it's, that's you see what I'm saying? So that's really not. So I, when I when I started doing this research. <laughs> I was like, I saw people I gotta apologize to. <laughs> okay, so then you got the third one asking how can I make it right? You know what I'm saying? Listen, Rico, I, I wreck your truck, bro. Well, how much it cost? How can I get it you know, paid for so you know we won't be beefing like that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So being able to, you know, go deep into it. The next one is um, you know, saying, you know, how to prevent, you know, recurrence of what you did. You know, what's something I could do so you won't be feeling like, you know, you on go when I came in and made you cold. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's something like, let's keep this example. Okay? Right. Okay. okay? And then basically, the last one, which I feel like is important, you know, especially for women. I'm going to say that. Especially for women. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look at the camera and say this. Okay? Don't have no man apologizing to you, asking you for forgiveness, 
and you said, baby, I forgive you. And then two months down the road, you throwing the same thing up. You didn't forgive him for that. Oh, yeah. no, I, they ain't even I, waiting two months. No, no, I'm just saying, like, no, you ain't, you ain't, that's not forgiving. Because if you telling me you forgave me for something, then we, yeah, yeah, it's got, it got to be gone. No, but here's what I think, right? And I thought about this today when I learned about the five apology languages mm -hmm. today. In the past, but in relationships, you know, a man will say, I'm sorry, but he's, it's an empty, I'm sorry. And you can know that it's an empty, I'm sorry. So at the end of the conversation, sometimes men just say, I'm sorry, can you forgive me? Just to sweep it under the rug, just for us mm -hmm. to move past it. But you still have that <laughs> void inside you as right. a woman, feeling that this has not exactly. been, it ha the no. situation sorry. has not been you know, rectified. You, I'm sorry. You should say no. But you, you, you want to you wanna keep talking about it, but then the man says, Oh my God, this again. Right. We're talking about this again. Right. And you have no choice but to let it go because you don't yeah. want to be a nag. Yeah. But then you still have that void inside of you that next, next, next month or the two months down the road exactly. when it comes up again, yeah. it comes up because I f we feel like it has not been properly addressed. Yeah. Right. I, was, I was that guy. I used to be horrible <laughs> at apologies, right, with, with my mate. What I learned is it's a respect level that comes with it. Mm -hmm. So the respect that you have for that person is going to affect your apology level. I believe so. When so when you get to that point where you're dealing with somebody that, okay, you respect and you value what they say, that apology is going to be different, right? It's and going to be like, you know what? I hear you. Yeah. I was wrong. I apologize. And that it's, with yeah. And then we know, we know in ourselves that it's not a genuine apology. It's right. an apology yeah. so that maybe we can get to the physical touch mm -hmm. or it's an apology so we can move on to the next chapter. You know what she said, fellas, apologize so we can get to the physical touch. Right. <laughs> that means I, I've, been, I've been waiting on this apology all day and I've been thinking about this physical touch. Right. But yeah, hey, but we don't want to be a man. Right, right. right. No, that's, yeah. no, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Don't go to bed. I think, I think a lot of times, and this is my perspective, mm -hmm. men apologize so they can move on. Yeah. I'm sorry. Still I'm sorry. Yeah. What are you so, so, Let us say, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry you're upset about that. What, are, what am I upset about? You don't even know what I'm upset about. Yeah. And then you find yourself talking for two hours about something that he's not getting and he's not genuine in his apology, but it goes back to what you're saying. If you respected me enough, you would have taken the time out to sit and understand what I'm saying. And that apology would come from a genuine place that two months down the road, I don't have to bring it up again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So remember, fellas, you got do you do the compatibility test, Zodiac compatibility test from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Find out what her love languages are. Okay, focus on that. And then if you do something, if you mess up, fellas, figure out what 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 you did, where it falls in one of them apology languages. And then <laughs> apologize the correct way, okay? But for us, that's going to be our show. Next, we got what we got called Ask Bro Code. So, ladies, what we do when we have a female guest, we let them pick one of the numbers, and it's going to yeah, be a man. random question that's going to pop up, and everybody has to answer it. Oh, so, man. I'm going to let you go. What's your pick a number between one and five? Three. <laughs> it's been the hot number. I'm telling you, it's Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> the third number three in a row. We got to play them numbers. <laughs> three. <laughs> don't play them three. So, go ahead and read the question out. <laughs> Are you honest with yourself when you know something or someone is not working for you? Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Most people not. <laughs> Most people just I, keep I, enduring I, it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and answer that. Um, I would say I'm honest with myself, but I try anyway because I feel like if I don't give it my 100%, I'm going to regret. I'm going to regret it, and then I feel like that I should go back to try it again. So yeah, I want to give yeah. it everything I got, and then if it doesn't work, I'm like, I'm, I'm gone. I'm good. I'm good. But so we, we, we got something coming already, because that's me too. Yeah. Like, me, yeah. I, I hate to fail. Yeah, me too. Like, yeah. if, 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 I, if I know I ain't put 100% in it, sometimes I put 100% out for the wrong reason. Okay, I'm like, you know, even, yeah. if, even if I see that, it ain't working. Right. <laughs> even though I know that you are not compatible for me, hey. for me to have to accept the fact that I fail is not working for me. So now I'm like, okay, eventually I'm going to get out of this. But I just got to, like... You got to keep trying, you know what? It's like, it's like, that, it's like that one thing that you don't want to beat you. Right. And you just gonna keep trying until you beat it. Yeah. And then you'll be good. Right. But it never happened. You never beat it. Yeah. It keep beating you. <laughs> and you just keep coming back with a different approach every time. <laughs> okay, what about you? Yeah, I have to agree with you guys. I, I'm a, I have the spirit of a fighter. Right? <laughs> See? So I keep trying, but I think 
to be honest, I think the, the, the quicker you realize this isn't working and you move on, the better it is for everybody right. involved. Yeah. What but, about you? Especially depending on what it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? <laughs> Again, going back to my mom, my mom always said I didn't always follow suit, right? Because I had made some failures in my life. Alan, always do the right thing. Always do the right thing. And it, now that I'm older, it makes sense, right? If you always do the right thing, if something fails, you've done your part, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that. Out of you well, you been quiet. <laughs> nah, I mean, for, for me, it's that I, I want to, it's that fire sign, I want to win everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? So it's not, you know what I'm saying, it's going to do whatever it takes to win. Yeah, mm-hmm. fade not an option. It's not an option. Okay. Yeah, it's not an option. So I guess we can all agree on that. Yeah. But ladies, we appreciate y'all presence. Thank yes. You. Saying, thank, thank you for you joining us. For coming us thank and joining us. Thank you Yeah. And, and making this a great show. Yeah. I really appreciate it. This was a good show, you. dog. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. Good see, job. See, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. it was a good show. I told y'all. I know y'all. Look, we learned a little. We got a little education of the day. But this, I told you, when I picked up a show, it was like that, y'all, you know, I come with black I mean, Okay, okay, we go, we go. But hey, yo, that's gonna be our show. Join us next time, and we are for your boy from Broco.